This is the popcorn bucket era. It's the era of popcorn buckets. What do you think of that? You did it wrong. It would be like, I'm in my popcorn bucket era. But I'm not, because I'm not buying them. So it's not my era. Yeah, you're in your piece of era. Hey. No. Hey. You gotta do it. Thank you. I know we typically talk about Funko here, but we're talking about popcorn buckets tonight. And the reason why we're talking about popcorn buckets is because they're so popular right now. Popular like popcorn. Now the popcorn bucket that you probably know the best is the Dune 2 popcorn bucket, which what? has been literally everywhere. I believe it was even in an SNL skit. Why do they know it the best? Well, there could be some reasons and we'll get into those reasons. I'm going to show you a plethora a popcorn bucket, because I collected a lot. One that you're gonna love, particularly. Particularly? Particularly. Wh what the Particularly? F Why are you just gonna make fun of how I talk? Cause you don't talk good. What got me on this today, Dish Trackers posted all sorts of new photos of upcoming popcorn buckets to include Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, I didn't even see those, that sounds fun. So popcorn buckets, mm -hmm. I remember them being sort of tin, you would go to like a film, you'd go to the movies, and they might have a tin one every once in a while. They would have an Avengers one. You would see them from time to time. It wasn't a regular thing. What I remember just about 10 years ago were collectible cups, which were very popular. And in fact, there were some theaters that were giving you coins, which I have a whole pile of them. Yeah, They're actually we really have a bunch cool. Of them. Yeah, I got them for a bunch of like the Marvel films. They stopped doing it, wish they never discontinued because I love them. But now we've gotten into popcorn buckets. Yeah, can I tell you the popcorn buckets I remember as a kid? It was a big Tupperware bucket after we made microwave popcorn because my family never went to the movies. Okay, well, you gotta bring the whole video down? That's depressing. Feel bad for me. Popcorn buckets when I was a kid were just the paper popcorn buckets. They didn't have anything like they have today. Yeah, same! Almost like a KFC thing, yeah, but like a KFC. popcorn. And, and this has caused a very huge problem in the movie industry, and which is why I think people aren't going to the movies as much anymore. Why? Why? Well, I don't know if you remember this, but there's something referred to as the popcorn trick. Now, when you have a plastic bucket, especially one that's in the shape of Slimer, you can't saw out a hole in the bottom of the popcorn bucket so you can then take that popcorn bucket with all that popcorn and slide it over your hog. And then that's when your best loved one uses their hand or maybe you just met first date, although that's a little ballsy, but they reach their hand in and they get more than butter and popcorn, if you know what I'm saying. Why can't you cut a hole in the plastic one? Because no one's cutting a hole in the plastic. What the f Who's taking tools? Let's keep going. If no, you no, want your tool touched, you gotta take the tools now. Popcorn buckets have become extremely detailed, extremely collectible, and elaborate. And I collected a ton of photos, and we're gonna talk about each and every one of them. There is one of Thor's hammer that is like this big. And I wonder, the people who actually went to the theater, which you can comment down below, that bought this bucket, I don't know if this was something that you bought at the theater or online. And that's another aspect of this. These things are being sold on the websites. You can go to amc.com and you can buy all the different like collectible things to include popcorn buckets. So it seems to me that possibly theaters have gotten smarter because they know that people aren't going to the theater as much, so they're finding a new route in which they can make money. But if they want to drive sales in the theater and people are that crazy about the buckets, have the buckets exclusive to the theaters. The reason why there's a demise in theaters, people love those little TikTok videos and they rather just sit around and watch TikTok videos uh, and let, in, instead of a full feature film. And Netflix. And Net Disney chill, Plus? chill. Is it, what's it called? Netflix, Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. You think people are doing the popcorn trick at home? You no, know, for Netflix you just and chill. Get down to business. Why do you need popcorn bucket? That and sounds like imagine a mess. you come home and I'm like, hey, it's movie night, and I got a big old bucket, big old paper bucket. I'm, it I'm better, it better be filled with something <laughs> other than popcorn, because I don't like popcorn. Well, that's the point. That's what I'm saying. That's the point. It would be, and you'd be like, why do you have a big bucket? If you want <laughs> you got that trough sitting on your lap. If you want me touching on that, you better put like peach cobbler We're in We're talking way too dirty. Let, let's keep going. We gotta talk about popcorn buckets here. You're getting too too worked up. Peach cobbler is very warm. 
It'd be sort of slimy too. That's good, right? So here are the popcorn buckets that popped up today that gave me the idea to make this video. Oh, they popped up? Yeah, this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. Popcorn buckets, their popularity, and how people are going crazy over them. In fact, in my research, I found that Disney popcorn buckets are huge at the Disney park. They are huge. I was going to bring that up. So recently they had a figment one, and it's so cool. And you can get like rainbow popcorn in it. And, in it. and they sell out. Yes, they sell out. They're highly collectible. People pay a lot on the aftermarket for those. But the coolest part is you get very cheap refills at Disney parks on your popcorn. And a crowd favorite is the maple popcorn in Canada in Epcot. So in this photo, you can see the Wolverine Deadpool stuff. By the way, I was reading an article while I was doing my research. I'm doing research. I then go over to Facebook. And immediately what popped up when I moved to, to Facebook, IGN mm -hmm. is talking about a new Deadpool popcorn bucket. And apparently Ryan Reynolds wants to make a popcorn bucket that's like the Dune one. I'm really uncomfortable. But look how elaborate this is. You got like a taxi cab up there. You have an alien head from the next alien okay, film. Okay, so I just figured that out at first. I could not tell what it was. I was like, what the hell? Is the best I could do was like a mustache. A very chonky Optimus Prime he's, for some reason. Listen, he's very buff. He spent a lot of time at the gym. I don't even know if that's buff. He's just humongous with a small head. Then there's a bunch of Garfield stuff, which there's a new Garfield film coming out. I didn't even realize that. But look, look how cute that is. That's adorable. But I want to talk about some of the popcorn buckets that have come out like over the course of time. I actually have a couple of these popcorn buckets that we're going to show. There was one specifically that I really wanted to go with my Doctor Strange Hot Toys figure. And I saved a photo of it. I saved something very special for you. Saved some that were very elaborate we're going to talk about. Show you that IGN post. And also talk about how AMC or whoever had the Dune popcorn bucket, they basically said we would have never done this if we knew that it was going to go viral. Which is insane! Wait, they because wouldn't have done it? They wouldn't have done it. Why? I have no idea. Because apparently, I guess they don't want to be known for having the Dune eating your hog popcorn bucket. I don't know. I would. Why wouldn't you? It gets exactly. people talking. It's viral. It gets people buying it. was it. everywhere. I mean, maybe they were just saying that. I don't know. Maybe AMC is just like, ah, oh, we don't That's want to be known for that. stupid. I it don't want to talk to AMC anymore. But hold on. Before we get too deep into this conversation, I would like to ask those of you at home who do collect these popcorn buckets or who have purchased them, not at the theater, but at home. Are you using them as collectible display pieces or are you actually filling them up with popcorn? I need to know. I'd put my money on that they're used for just collector. That's collector what pieces. I would imagine too. Yeah. It just seems so, like, why not just sell collectibles? Why are you making it like a buttery popcorn mess that's hard to clean? Because there's a bunch of weird crevices because they're all in these weird different shapes. Yeah, it's just really odd. The whole idea of a popcorn bucket being collectible and people are eating them all up and they're huge most of the time. They're very big. I just wonder how long this trend is going to go on for. Yeah. Because I can't imagine collecting a ton of popcorn buckets. Uh, we got to look at the pictures. Okay, let's look at they're the pictures. Unbe they're unbelievable how big these things are. So here's one it's from a Wish. wish. It's a Wish, the okay. creature thing. That the star. It's the star. Yes. That cup is so cool. It is a cool cup. But this is what these theaters are doing now. I mean, this is popular. People are eating this stuff up. There it is. I knew you'd get excited. So what's funny though is I thought you were going to choose a different popcorn bucket because there was one that was huge semi-recently. By Taylor Swift? That is not Taylor Swift, no. Oh. Well, no, I got a ton of them. You, you haven't, we haven't oh, gotten okay. to all the popcorn buckets. Well, I no. thought this was the one for me. No, no, no. Oh, that is the one for you. Oh, no, there was another one that would be for me. Okay. Oh, my God. Believe it or not. That's that is ridiculous. a popcorn bucket. Yeah, that's stupid. How ridiculous is that? So that's Dominic Toretto's car from Fast and Furious, like the franchise. But that is, that's a popcorn bucket. They're, they're virtually turning toys, calling them popcorn buckets. And then you can put your popcorn in it. But when you're done with it, you can play with it. Optimus Prime! You popcorn put all your popcorn in the back. Drink now, vessel? Then they call them vessels. 
that's another thing that really freaks me out because when I think vessel, I think blood vessel, and I, and then I start thinking private parts. Like it just kind of gets gross. It's kind of weird. Like why are we, why are we thinking about private parts? I don't know. But look, it's a it's a popcorn and drink combo, so and I'm assuming you can drink out of the straw attached to the the front of the truck. That's the, what I was wondering. Yeah. Ew! So the smoke what stack. are we doing? Well, look at the price of these things. Oh, okay. It includes the large drink and popcorn. Yeah. Honestly. You're probably only spending like five dollars on that thing because I heard that drinks and popcorn is very expensive at the theater. The size of this thing, it's huge. I want to know whoever is eating and drinking out of this, where are they putting it while they watch the film? They have to have it on their lap. You're doing this. You have those little you have those little trays, but that tray is not you don't have that in sufficient every theater. for this thing. Now, we actually have friends who were seeking these out when they came out. They yes. wanted these. I, every time I was looking at like a new one, I'm thinking, what the hell are they going to do next? And I would get to the next picture, and it was something like this. Yeah, it's crazy. So $30, but you get your large popcorn inside of the head of the character. You're, you're eating popcorn out of a head. All right, so this is the Deadpool thing. So while I was looking up photos, I go over to Facebook, and this is the first thing that pops up on my feed, literally. Marvel boss Kevin Feige called the Deadpool 3 popcorn bucket intentionally crude and lewd at CinemaCon 2024 and called the movie itself effing awesome. Star Ryan Reynolds teased the Dune Part 2 like popcorn bucket back in February. So I'm not entirely sure what this popcorn bucket is going to be. I think that's just like AI generated or something. That's not it. But I want to see what they come up with. So if we go back and look at the photos, if you look at the top photo where the Deadpool things are, mm -hmm. do you see the Deadpool with the top of his head chopped off? Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was a bucket or a um, cup. I'm wondering, right, me too. But I'm wondering, is that going to be the, the teeth? Like the Dune teeth or something. You mean the pocket? Yes. Po yes, of course. Then you have a tin. So this is Super Mario See, tin, $14.99. this makes sense. Right. That's fun, right? Now look at this thing. $39.99. It was up for pre-order. So you can pre-order this stuff. Be prepared for Thor Love and Thunder, the dumbest movie you'll ever see in your I life. I that movie so much. But this thing is humongous. There's a picture of it on a guy's desk. It's like this big. And then you also have Slimer from Cinemark. Yeah, his teeth make me really uncomfortable. They look like people's teeth. Oh my God, why do you have to scroll to this one? <laughs> I love that it has a sensor over it. I this, found this on Google. This is not a popcorn bucket. No, I mean, it could be. But no, it's not. It's something else. But Can this I is the thing that generated so much, like, hype and people talking, a lot of WTF, chatter. And it's become memes. it's become, like, an iconic thing now. This is not a popcorn bucket. This is a pop porn bucket. Oh my God, Heather. You can't tell me that I'm lying, cause I'm not. You know people. Here's a Batman head, so another Wait. head of something. Why is his mouth gone? Because it's like the mask. It's like you're eating out of the, the cow. You're not actually eating out of a head. So it doesn't have his face in it. Cause okay. that would be weird, wouldn't it? If, he had, if it actually had like mouth. And like skin, you're eating his head, like you're uh, pulling it out. It's like you're eating his yeah. brain or something. Okay, that's, a, yeah, I don't know. Look at this thing. Why are they doing this? <laughs> how crazy is that? Look how big it is. But at this point, it's no longer a popcorn bucket to me. I don't know. It, it's, it's become a toy now. It is a toy that you can put popcorn in. People were eating this crap up. People love this thing. They love all the Ghostbusters ones. There's some ver other very popular ones. Look at this one. This has a like a, a, a huge like rocket raccoon attached to it. A Barbie car. Okay, I love that. With popcorn sticking out of the top of it. The head of Ant-Man. Do you notice like heads and like masks are very popular? And look, it has a light up feature. Okay, but to be fair, that would look very cool on somebody's It's very shelf. cool. Blue Beetle, his little wings open. That's you can put cool. popcorn in his butt. Th okay, so that's the picture. Look how big it is. Is that not ridiculous? That's ridiculous. And there's a Doctor Strange one back there. Yeah, I actually you got have that, that Doctor one. Strange one. Yeah, because yeah, you're a crazy person. Now, this is made by somebody. This is from Oppenheimer, and this is in the film they're building like an atomic bomb. Oh, my goodness. And that's what that is. That's crazy. I thought that was pretty funny. So somebody said, 
I bet this is fake and then somebody else followed it with, yeah, the first sign is it's $19.45. Shazam. That's a Does fun anybody one. remember that movie? That movie was rough to watch. That's D and D. That's, that's cool. There it is, a scream one. That's the one oh, I was talking about. Oh, nice. Okay, so another head. There's yeah. a trend here. Okay, can I say that I really feel uncomfortable over the fact that there's a Barbie with the Dune, <laughs> with the open mouth scream. <laughs> yeah, it's a really weird bunch of, of, of popcorn buckets. You you have like a girly popcorn bucket. You have the pocket JJ. The pocket fun. And then you have the open mouth ghost face that's like ready. Like he's ready. Dune's ready to take whatever you're giving him. I don't like that. I'm very uncomfortable. There's the anger head. Does he light up? I would imagine it does because so. it looks like it's translucent on the top. He's cool. There's the huge Optimus Prime. That thing is un believable. I don't even know what you do with that. So apparently this is from a new animated Transformers film. They're talking about it right now. It comes out later this year. Cool. So this is all at CinemaCon. So apparently okay. CinemaCon, they show off all this type of stuff and they're also showing like previews to films. So you're seeing previews of things that will be coming out throughout this year. Alien head. How incredible is that? It has a handle it looks like on the bottom. It looks like and a you, worm. I you, hate the You alien walk around head. holding it like yeah, like that's a shield. Ridiculous. There's a Groot one. See, that makes sense because it's like in the shape of a bucket. Right. Willy Wonka's hat. Again, makes sense. This one is f***ing cool. I love this. What is a it? Lot. That's the trap from Ghostbusters. Okay, I thought it was Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's cool. In fact, it has like sides that are on it. I don't know if it's this version or not, but it has like, uh, like almost looks like beam, like a beam and it glows. Like it has like lights in it. Like you're catching ghosts. This is crazy. No, don't go to the next Bustin one. Bustin' makes me feel good, Heather. Yeah, well, speaking of which, <laughs> we're back to this thing. There's the taxi cab from Deadpool. I mean, again, it's a toy practically. Look at those. See, his head's t chopped off. Do you think that's what it is? Or do you think it's a cup? I don't know. It looks like a goblet, but I feel like if it were a cup, it would have a top on it. So these popcorn buckets are getting more elaborate with every release. This is craziness, you right? Didn't wanna, yeah, it is crazy. You didn't want to show off any of the Disney ones? Because those are really cool. Well, no, actually what I wanted to show was Macari sales. Check this shit out. Oh no. Do we want to see this? Oh, this is about to get crazy. Okay, so a Ghostbusters Afterlife car, 60 bucks. I don't know what the original price is. I think that one was $49.99, but it came with the popcorn. Here's an ad at, this is from Disney, 40. Here's I think a that's Jabba, about right. A Jabba from Disney, that's 40. But look at this thing. BT, it's, I think it's BTS. They're selling for like a hundred and some dollars. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like you can only get them overseas or what goes on with this. Wow. But here's the trap I was telling you about. 61.75. 61.75. So these are obviously popular because people are buying them. There's the there there's the figment one I was talking about. Oh, that's figment? Yeah. It's from the Festival of the Arts, aka Farts. But see, it has Figment's oh, yeah. home. Is and that somebody dressed as Figment? That's freaking me out. That's Figment that you meet at the park. No. Yes, they it should is. not. No, I'm saying they should not have that. They do. I remember we, we missed him. I wanted to see No, a thank of you. That's we things, that's horrible. We're gonna meet him this time. No, I'm not. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, look, this stuff is selling. People uh, love it. I see in my feed popcorn buckets all the time. Like, people are crazy about the popcorn buckets. Yeah. And the cool thing about Disney is they come with these straps, and you can wear them as, like, a crossbody bag. So here's the article I was talking about with Dune. I don't know what this is going to say. We continue to learn and evolve. We would have never imagined the Dune thing. We would have never created it knowing it would be celebrated or mocked. And then they're talking about the SNL sketch. It wouldn't be fair to pull our creative talent aside to say, we hope it makes SNL. Is this a weird response? It's really weird. It's like they don't want it to happen, but it's cool that it was on SNL. It's weird. All of it is really weird. I don't understand why that is the response. I thought that them making that popcorn bucket 
was amazing for them. Yeah, well, they're saying that they don't want it to be celebrated or mocked. So what do you... Why not? Who gives a shit? Like, Make money and have you, fun. Yeah, do you only want people to eat out of it? Like, we want people to eat out of it only. Don't take pictures. Don't say it's cool. Don't say it looks like an adult toy. No censored photos. Yeah. Don't you dare. What do they want? What's the goal of making a po themed popcorn bucket if you don't want it celebrated? Like, that's the thing that blows know. my mind. I feel like maybe we should talk to this uh, exec at AMC and ask him, what are you looking for? What if they don't want it celebrated, they don't want it mocked, but they actually want people to... No! That's what he wants? I'm only happy if they're humping it. Yeah! Like, what? I don't for real. Know. Th that is a very confused response. It is. But look, that's the Dune thing. Popcorn buckets in general are absolutely insane nowadays. Now when you go to the theater, you might be buying a Thor hammer full of popcorn. You could possibly buy an Ecto-1 full of popcorn. You know what the good thing about the size of that Thor hammer is? It would obstruct your view from seeing Thor Love and Thunder. Bingo, Heather. That's perfect. I wish I would have had that popcorn bucket because that movie was horrible. I don't know. I think popcorn buckets are going to stay around for a little while, especially with popularity coming from the one from Dune. I think they're here to stay, at least for now. I would love to know what people are thinking out there. Comment down below. Are you collecting popcorn buckets? Do you like them? Do you hope that they stick around? Do you have a whole wall of popcorn buckets? Oh, and I have a question. Do you think that they should be exclusive to theaters because... Think as a business person, not as a collector, okay? Just for a moment. Isn't that a better business idea? Like, you're you're driving people to go and buy the buckets and see a movie. Yeah. I mean, granted, they're probably making more having them online. Having them at the movies gives people reason to go to the movies. That's true. I don't want movie theaters to go away. That makes me sad. Movie theaters are not doing well. But guess what? They what? got them badass popcorn buckets and they're making money if you're going to the theater or not now. And that is what matters. What do they do with all that space when the theater is just like closed down? Porn. Let us know all the things and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we love to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon because we appreciate their support so much. In this video, we'd like to shout out to 10 of them. Dirty Deuce, Chavo, Hassan E, Justin and Stacey McKenzie, Sean Neal, Craig Matthews, Mac the Ball, Celeste Crawford, Josh Swan, and Nikki Papadop. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content, comment down below because we would love to interact with you. And check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash gasocast to find all the ways that you can support the channel. Your support goes a long way. It helps the channel in a very big way. And in return, we do a live Google Meet chat every single month with our patrons at level two, three, and four. We have a good time and hang out. We do giveaways and we show you upcoming mischief tools items. You're not going to want to miss it. This time we're going to be showing you Mortem in figure form for the very first time. It's going to blow your mind. And make sure you tune in to 7 tomorrow, April the 13th at 3 p.m. Eastern for their Pokemon Signature Series. Lisa Ortiz, Sarah Nada Cheney, and Erica Schroeder are signing all sorts of cool Pokemon Funko Pops. There's 40 pieces of Oshawott, 30 pieces of Pikachu, 30 pieces of Sable, 30 pieces of Eevee, and 30 pieces of Glaceon. So make sure you go and check out 7bucksapop.com for this awesome signature series, 3 p.m. Eastern, Saturday, April the 13th, which is tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in and staying until the end. We appreciate you. We will see you in the next one. Bye.